The, the mystery continues tonight of where is Robert Card? Um, and at this point, uh, again, police think the vehicle he was in was abandoned. He was not found in it. His photos on your screen right now considered armed and dangerous. Um, his boat is missing uh, and there has, as far as we know, been no sign of him. Um, since we first saw those, um, quite frankly, horrific images of him, um, according to police, inside spare time recreation, um, holding what appeared to be a gun, um, just as that shooting was getting underway last night. Uh, so that's the message and the uh, shelter in place um, warning continues. These are the images I was just referencing uh, that first were released last night, the vehicle that was found in Lisbon there now, uh, and then the other images are, are what police released of him entering that facility. And, and we're coming up now on um, more than 20 hours since this all began, Brian. Uh, if we want to go through the timeline again, again, these are surveillance photos from from spare time recreation there on Mollison Way. That's, that's where police say this started at 6.56 tonight. Um, last night. Yes, last yeah. night. Thank you. Um, and then at 7.08, as you said, just minutes after, um, they got reports of... of shots being fired at Schmenke's Bar and Grill. That was four miles away there on Lincoln Street. That's where we've seen our Jack Mulmid all day um, and continue to see police presence. Eight o'clock is when they released some of those surveillance photos that we just saw of Robert Card, although they didn't actually name him until uh, 11 o'clock at night. But uh, then 809, Bates College went into lockdown. And, and you know, if you've if you've traveled through Lewiston, you're familiar with why Bates likely went on, on lockdown. Um, you you pass right by the campus to get from um, one location to the other, from um, what we're talking about right here. Uh, so the timeline continued last night. Of um, you know, people in Lewiston were told to shelter in place. Um, shortly after nine o'clock is when we saw that picture of that white Subaru that he was believed to be driving, and there was a, a call to be on the lookout from there. And then, uh, you know, about two hours passed until we then officially heard from police at Lewiston City Hall holding a very brief uh, media event um, where really we only learned um, his name. Um, and that at that point he was a person of interest. Um, and basically through the night, the shelter in place had expanded uh, and people were asked to stay home and not go out. Um, and then it was uh, 1030 this morning when we heard from police again. Um, and that was the last time today that we've heard from police. Uh, and that's when they had said um, that Robert Card is now a murder suspect and they are treating this as a homicide investigation. Um, and that they have uh, police released uh, that tip line that Don mentioned when we saw him uh, live in Lewiston, um, saying that the public safety department has received hundreds of tips to their to their number as well. And we have, of course, all that information for you um, in the New Center main app. And that, that tip line, I don't know if we have the full screen of it, but I'll just read it really quickly. It's uh, 207-509-9002. Again, 207-509-9002. Again, they certainly understand if it's easier to call 911. And, and Brian, I just want to jump in here because we got some new information from, from um, the Army uh, because, as we know, he was a member of the Army Reserves. Um, and they're actually clarifying. We, we know that Robert Card is a firearms instructor. That's something that we've been told in, from, from multiple law enforcement agencies, but the Army is clarifying that uh, there are no records to indicate he instructed or participated in any training on their end um, at that West Point summer training in July of 2023. They say the Army did not train Card as a firearms instructor, nor did he serve in that capacity for the Army. Um, and of course, they, they can't release too much more because of, of privacy there and because of the ongoing investigation. But, um, you know, that's something we've been talking a lot about, about his his this training. Background. Right, background his background. definitely plays into, I think, the probably the, the scope and the interest of the search for him right now and the fact that there are those 350, 400 people um, on the hunt. Um, for him because of this military background. Um, frankly, whether he was an instructor or not, he had himself that training and that knowledge.